G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds everyone well. Today's video is a very quick one just to look at how to manage cache within Adobe Bridge. Now, why this is important is if you have too big a buildup of cache files uh, on your hard drives or wherever you choose to store the, the cache files, it can slow things down from working as efficiently. So you might just find that it's a little bit laggy, it takes a little bit longer than usual to bring in the full uh, resolution thumbnails within Bridge. And it's just a good thing to look at if you want to keep things running smoothly and efficiently and as quickly as possible. All right, so if we just head up to Edit, and we come down to Preferences. There's three main tabs that we're going to look at today. Firstly, Cache, Cache Management, and also Media Cache. If we have a look at Cache, we can see we've got options there to choose how big a cache size uh, we want to have set within Adobe Bridge. Currently, it's at uh, 50 gigabyte. That's what it came as a default. You can increase it or decrease it if you want to, uh, but I find generally 50 is fine for what I need to do. Keeping in mind that I've never actually gotten to 50 gig worth of cache, I always try and clean out the cache files uh, on a regular basis uh, uh, just to keep everything running smoothly. You can see there's also an uh, option there around cache location, uh, which we'll have a look at how to change a little bit later. Um, Checkbox on the keep 100% previews in cache. Um, we've also got the option to compact cache uh, reminder, so it's recommended. Uh, I don't have that checked, but uh, I find that I generally look after it on a regular basis anyway. If you do want a reminder, then you just need to check that box. Um, and purge cache folder older, sorry, purge cache older than 30 days uh, when bridge is idle. So if we check that, we can obviously uh, change that amount as well to whatever we want to go. All right, if we have a look at cache management, this is a really important one because this is where we can either compact or get rid of our cache files if we find that they're building up a little bit too much. All right, so first option, compact cache. Optimize cache by removing obsolete cache records and the associated JPEG files. So we can just hit that and it will compact that cache. You can see it, it uh, did it pretty quickly. You can also purge 100% previews in cache and also purge all local cache files. Now that's the one that I generally use. That just means that it gets rid of any cache files and I'll do this maybe once a month. Uh, and I find that it just offloads all of those cache files and things stay running smoothly. I have certainly noticed when I've forgotten to do it in the past that things start to lag and, and slow down a little bit. It does mean that if you go back to any images that you have previously edited, those uh, full resolution thumbnails will take a little bit of time to uh, fully import and open up within Bridge, uh, but um, the benefits certainly outweigh, I think, the extra time needed if that's what you're going to do. All right, so it'll prompt you, purge all local cache. Do not show this again if you don't want to. We'll just continue. And you can see in the background there, uh, all of the cache imports for those thumbnails that are currently on display uh, have... Um, have gone back to their original and they'll be re-imported within Bridge once we hit OK. All right, if we head down to Media Cache, the third option that we were going to look at, we have some options there as well. First one, do not delete cache files automatically, so which is what I have it set at the moment. Uh, second one is automatically delete older than 90 days, so obviously you can choose the number of days there as well. And automatically delete oldest cache files when cache exceeds 95 gig, that's an option that you can look at as well. You can also have a look at the location of where the um, cache files are. So if you just click on that one, you can look at where those cache files are on your hard drive uh, if you wanted to have a look at that as well. So as you can see, it's really easy to look after Bridge uh, when it comes to a media cache perspective. So quick and easy to either purge or compact or remove those cache files altogether. And uh, you'll find that uh, Bridge will definitely uh, continue running smoothly and as quickly as possible. Worth checking out uh, and having a look at uh, your own cache files and you might find that you free up a bit of hard drive space as well as a side benefit. Obviously, the more images that you process and work through, um, the quicker the buildup of those cache files is going to happen. Hope you found this video helpful. As always, any questions are welcome in the comments below. Thanks again for stopping by, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.